Good morning, welcome to my studio. I'm Jeff DeBoer. All through school, my father being a, a, a metal fabricator, I always had access to tools and metal. And I cannot remember a day in my life when I was not making something. I was always in the garage making something. And I'm not saying it was all armor, but, but I have been a maker my entire life. What comes out of that is a perfect little dome. I had my first suit of armor when I was 17. When I went to the art college, back in 1984. Uh, it was in 1985 as a jewelry major, I realized that I was going to be involved in metals and the jewelry department gave, was giving me the skills that I was looking for. And I guess there's a, there's a critical moment where you develop a new set of skills. And I had already all this background with building armor and I was able to put these two worlds together. Everything leading up to that moment and everything that I was going to become focused onto this idea that I could build a suit of armor for a mouse. I can hand chase a design into this, solder these two together, cut them in half, and that makes the ears. look around this crazy studio that's not just metal work but we're now dealing in, in wearable technologies and we're innovating new technologies and working with industries. Calgary has amazing industries and resources because of the oil and gas industry. What if we had a new economy based on creativity which is what the whole maker world is about. Creating new products and new industries in Calgary that are not oil and gas based. Below is the this is the custom sheet metal and wood shop. So right now it's been configured to be a metal shop because I'm, I'm doing a lot of welding down here right now. And the way that we're working is we've created these models that are life-size representations of the animal. And over top of that, we're welding these bars to describe the animal. When we're finished, we'll actually cut, the, cut this apart, take it off, throw this interior core away and put this back together again and we'll have a life-size elk made just out of steel bars. There's a bit of a change in the world lately. There is the, the maker movement, this, this coming about where there's a higher appreciation for maker. And what's, what's beautiful about this new era or this new machine and this new maker world is that it's so inclusive. Everyone's supporting each other. You don't have to know everything. But I need to be able to work with people who understand how to work with electronics and people who understand how to manufacture in the industry, people who uh, are very good at accounting. It takes all of these people to make this new machine run. So this would be the technology tie. There's a couple of ties that I'm working on right now. This, this tie would be able to generate patterns anytime you want randomly or specifically uh, and it would be completely controlled by your cell phone. So you could wear this tie, take out your cell phone, pick out your pattern, and that's your new pattern for your tie. What makes it kind of fun is that if you didn't like my tie, you could take out your cell phone, change my tie. Every artist in the world could design artwork for this tie and download it onto your tie and it would be like a new experience for you. Uh, so every day you come home, who knows what kind of new artwork would be on your tie. I'm amazed at this community, at what they've been able to accomplish. When we took our maker community to the big maker fair in San Mateo this spring, we came back with seven Make Magazine Choice Awards for, our, for what we showed. This tiny little group won more awards <laughs> for the, the kind of work that we were doing than anybody else at that fair. We're on the map, and it was only 15 of us that went down. 
And that's what I think this whole Innovator Meeting and Innovator series is about, is that let's, let's get these people out into the public, let's meet them, let's talk about the whole maker world, and this whole idea of being an innovator. And they have a spinner ring that has a gear thread on it, and you can put two rings together, and they run as gears. Add more rings, and it becomes a wearable piece of jewelry sculpture that runs. It's an interesting time in my career because at the age of 50, which was my birthday last year, they say artists gel. And what I find fascinating about 50 is that you're old enough now, wise enough now, been through enough now to be able to look back. But you're young enough, strong enough, and excited enough to look forward at the same time. So this beautiful moment between these two worlds of the past and the future I'm more excited about the future as I get older than ever.